Okay. All right. Well, first off, I met Gail through YouTube, actually. I had been introduced to the send out cards a couple of three years ago. And for one reason or another, it was a rep out of Florida I didn't know very well. And I didn't like a couple of things he did. So I said, well, maybe this isn't the right time. And then I don't know exactly why I did, but I saw this call like we're doing now on YouTube with Karen and two fellas that were looking at uh, agents that were looking to come in. And I said, I think I would like to work with her. <laughs> and uh, it was the right decision. It's been good ever since. And that's been a little over two years now. And um, so um, Gail has been a realtor since uh, 2004. And uh, she was Realtor of the Year in 2017. And she's been with Send Out Cards since 2007. And she was the runner-up referral partner of the year 2018. And I was at the convention to see that. That was really special. Uh, they got a nice bonus for that, too. <laughs> uh, helped them buy their pontoon boat on the lake. They have a nice lake house they're enjoying. Um, Gail and Steve have closed on the average 50 homes a year since 2012, all done mostly by referral. And Gail is one of the best card senders there ever was. I mean, she is the ultimate in sending out cards and recognizing people, and it's come back to them, well, tenfold. Um, Gail also coaches and trains, and um, she belongs to a trading. I don't know what the, the uh, actual... Um, well, the National, National Coach, yeah. I coach through the National Coaching League, and yeah. I, I've trained realtors, business owners all over the world, just sharing what we've done with relationship marketing and how it's affected our business. And uh, with that, I'm going to turn it over and I'll add a few things as we go along with awesome. some of the success I've had. Yes, I see we've got another one that joined, but I just see a phone number, though. I don't see a name. It's Connie. Oh, hey, Connie. Hey. Okay, we're, we've started and uh, we're going to replay, you know, we're going to do a, a video of a, you know, uh, recording. So, but, mm -hmm. but you haven't, you haven't missed anything, Connie. We're just getting uh, started. Well, <laughs> so while Connie is a lender, uh, maybe we, could we have Karen and Connie just briefly tell what they do? Absolutely. We'll start with Karen. Well, my, um, I have been in the insurance business for probably the last 25 years and focusing more in the health arena. So um, I've known Sue for quite a few years, and when we kind of reconnected, she sent me a card, and I was so impressed with that card, so I called her and I started asking her about it, so that's why I'm sitting where I am listening to you. So I'm just very curious about it, and I was very impressed with the, with the card. So I can see where it would definitely help my clients, uh, my clientele as well. Very cool. Connie, share with us. Yes, um, I have been in the mortgage business um, for over 25 years. And, you know, as, as you're continuing to be in business, the, the best way to um, get more business, of course, is from the people that you've done business with. So Sue has spoken highly of this program. So I'm interested to see what way it might be able to help me with my business and, and adding to the things that, that I'm doing. I don't know if you can see this, but this is a picture of Connie getting her brownies and her card. <laughs> and, uh, she did two deals with me recently and the one was rather difficult and she just did an awesome job. And this is another way to share cards and thank your vendors that do such great things for your clients. And so there was a, I got her to let me take a picture. <laughs> awesome. And doesn't, you would both agree being in insurance and mortgage that when you partner with someone who's competent, it makes the, it makes business so much better. Definitely. 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 You know, and in real estate, we rely on, you know, we rely on our insurance providers. We rely on our mortgage lenders. We rely on a lot of people that help us help our clients. And 
Um, what Steve and I have found back, well, I'm going to just share a little bit of my testimonial. Back in 2007, I was three years into the real estate business. I had a stack of closed files on my desk and I didn't have a CRM. I didn't have anywhere where I put my contacts. And so I would, I had been looking because, you know, real estate was my second career. And I thought, well, how, like I would go open houses, I'd write thank you notes, I'd photocopy them and I'd put them in a three ring binder so I could kind of keep track of who I was talking to and all of that. But what, what I really wanted to do was to be able to communicate with our past clients. And so what, what happened was I went to a networking event, I received a card in the mail from someone I didn't know. I think I even still have that. You know, how many of you have cards that you've received um, 11 years ago? I do have it right here handy. So I got this card in the mail. And I, I, like, I remember this day. I went to my um, office, post office, you know, the windows, and I pulled out a card. And, and I pulled it out. And I said, nothing beats a great referral. And a picture of our business card on the front. And then it just said, I enjoyed meeting you at the B&I event in Kalamazoo last week. I'd like to get together for a Starbucks to find out more about what your needs are and if there's anything I could do to help you grow your business. Well, in 2007, um, I was looking for a way to contact. I sat at my desk. I called him. I said, how did you do that card? And we met for coffee. I sent a card to my husband, Steve. And I was like, wow, I hired Julie to come in and put all of that stack, 75 contacts, 75 closings over the past few years into our send out cards relationship manager. And that's where I started. Um, 2008, we, we were about a 35% referral business. And that's when the market tanked. And so you ladies, 25 years into the business, Sue, 30 years as a realtor, you, you've been through the ebbs and flows. And see, I was just getting started in the great market. And now mm -hmm. it's a tanked market. So um, we spent that three years from 2008 to 2011 building our relationships and connecting with people and using our send out card system. And then by 2012, we'd reached a hundred percent referral business. We opened our own company. We close about 50 homes a year and it's all by referral past clients, our, our network. And it, we, I give a huge shout out to send out cards for being a part of that. Um, and helping us along the way. So I'm going to share with you, if, you're, if you like to take notes, um, there's three types of cards that you can send with send out cards. And the program kind of follows along. What you received from Sue was what we call a single uh, card, a heartfelt single card send. And that's like when you when you do something nice, Sue, you sent Connie a card and brownies and, and a thank you. You sent Karen a card and thanked her. I received cards, you know, from the card catalog or cards that have come with pictures that I've posted on Facebook. And then they take fun pictures and send me cards in the mail. This one was from a friend of mine, Rob. And the branding on the back. See, what's cool is I can reach over here. Oh my gosh. And I've got like, talk about cards on my desk. Anytime I'm having a down day, I just reach behind my computer and pull out a few cards and read the sentiments and it lifts me up. So that's what cards do. Single heartfelt card sends. Um, and you can send unlimited. I'm going to show you and share with you how to send unlimited these every month for um, a low cost. But now there's group sends. Group sends are cards that you design um, this at the beginning of the year. We, we give bikes away to Toys for Tots. So, you know, this is, this is a, a card that we send out to a group of people. These are who are top 100, our sphere of influence, our B&I members. And it's one card designed fully that goes to a group of people at one time. Right now we're getting ready to have our pumpkin fest. We have a client event. So, twice a year and, and I have this invitation and it's ready to go out to our probably 250 people that are going to be invited to our client event. So one card to 250 people at one time, that's a group send. Um, and then there's scheduled card sends. A scheduled card send is like if you have a campaign and at closing we send out, and I don't have the card that we send out at closing, 
but we have a, a big card we send out at the anniversary that's designed for our clients and this is a scheduled card so I'm going to show you in my system in a little while just how that works and so it's my I'm birthdays gonna, too you know birthdays and right so if I pull up my contact manager and I see that I have a bunch of, of birthdays in the month of October I can send that whole list of birthdays because it's scheduled to go out on their birthday um, as a scheduled card send so so you don't forget to send it <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, yes I'm gonna share my screen with you and then I'm gonna show you how um, I'll go into my send out cards account so everybody see my screen okay yes Okay, so this is what the send out cards account is like. So if I if I click on my account and I, I'm just going to go to my card history, so that you can see what that looks like. Okay, I'm gonna, I got to move our faces down here a little bit. So what what you see in my card history is those that big card that I showed you, the anniversary card. I have three of those scheduled to, that are getting that are going to go out, and you can see how I personalize them with the pictures on the front of the card. Now, those are the scheduled card sends. Um, back to school, I you know when I'm teaching and training, I'm look, like look for opportunities to connect with your clients um, as you know the back to school pictures. So here's an example. This is a, a past client of ours. They just closed on their house. And I thought this was adorable because there's Allie and her baby sister is peeking through the window back here. Oh, look and, at that. and so I, and this is so simple. So inside picture of Allie and then a very simple message. And then on the back of course is, you know, our custom brand. And the, the cool thing about this card is I actually went out to visit Katie yesterday because um, I had they closed on their home while we were in Paris this summer at our niece's wedding and so I had a, brought a little something home stopped by and I told Katie and mind you the card that I sent them for their um, at closing was sitting up on the mantle and I said oh let Allie know that I or I'm just letting you know that I'm sent, I sent Allie a card uh, follow up. This was just the other night. I, I, this, and these are single card sends. Here's another back to school card. These are past clients um, that close. She was pregnant with this little Landry girl when they bought their house. But see, just taking the pictures, and I did a three panel card with this one because you know they posted lots of fun pictures with mom and dad, and they always come to our client events. So. I, I just said, have a great year at school. You grow more beautiful every time we see you. Hope to see you at Pumpkin Fest because they we love to have them come to Pumpkin Fest. And then again, um, different branding on the back of the cards. The ability to send brownies. Now you know what that's like because Sue has showed you. Um, but these are just examples of the heartfelt card sends. My friend out in California, Willie, Willie May, he just had a baby boy and posted that picture on Facebook, so I sent him the little blue giraffe and, and a cute little card. Um, we went on a listing appointment, follow up, this is a past client of ours, so um, this was the card sent, um, just thanking them for still thinking of us, you know, eight years after they bought their house, and they're still coming back to us to come over and talk to them about the opportunity. And that's one thing I want to bring up, you think about that. If you stay top of mind with people over time, won't they come back? And when we were at Dustin and Michelle's, I said, oh, you know, and just a reminder, Pumpkin Fest will be October 13th. Yeah, we got your invitation. I said, well, that was a save the day. The invitation will be coming out. But see, that's the, the it was about 10 days after I mailed that save the day that Dustin and Michelle called us. You know, make it easy for them to remember you, and that's what Send Out Cards is really good at doing. Um, this is, a, you can see here, these are the, um, when I sent the invitation for Pumpkin Fest, just so I could make sure it all looked good, I sent it to um, my daughter and son-in-law, make sure everything looked good, and then now those will be going out um, probably in about the next about 10 days from now I'll be sending out the pumpkin fest invitations so that's the 
that's what the group send is. Um, and now I'm, I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to use the system. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to my uh, Facebook and just, you know, as I scroll through each day, Nancy is a past client. I, I just, I send her cards all the time because her and her boys are adorable. Um, and then, uh, oh, here's Amy Cooper is a friend of mine. Um, and I love this. I'm, I'm, so I'm going to, Love her photo. I'm going to comment. And then I'm going to save this picture. So this is really, I just love it. Now, isn't this like, I'm no. a, I have nine grandchildren and this just touches my heart because you know, to sit and let your grandchildren um, put their farm animals up your leg. So I'm going to save the image. And it goes into a folder that I have. And so now I go back to my send out cards account. I go to my card catalog. I go to build your own. It's a vertical card. So I'm just going to customize it. Now this is where I can send a flat card. I could send a two panel, a three panel, a big card, a postcard, um, standard paper. There's upgrade on there's satin paper and pearlized paper. I actually prefer, I like the glossy um, standard cards. I'm going to just click next. Go here to add my photo. So then I go over and I click upload photo. And there's little Cooper. He just loads right to the front of the card and it'll be a simple card so let's just um i always date my cards too because when you send cards it's the sixth today and then when you send cards um with pictures people tend to keep them and it's always nice for them to look open up the card and see um when it was sent yeah, I started doing that after Kara, uh, Gail suggested that on one of the calls, and I thought, yeah, it's true, because you go back through some of the old pictures that you don't have a date on, and you go, now i got to try to figure out how long ago was that, you know? And it's nice. It's right there, so they don't have to think about it. Of course, on the really old cards, they used to put the dates on your cards. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just while Gail is um, doing that, this is a sample. I don't know if you can see the car that I sent out um, on a recent closing, and I put the picture of the uh, patio home she bought. And it's a five by seven card, so she could take that and frame it if she wanted to. I thought, and uh, so I put that on the front, and then this was my, you know, just a, a, a congratulating her and welcoming her to North Carolina. And then I've started doing the custom backs, as Gail has shown, and you can do all kinds of fun things. I don't know why that's delayed. Okay, there we go. And you'll see this too, Karen and Connie, when I send you a card. But um, I've now got different backs for different, like a sympathy card has a, a different backing, a business card. And this is just a kind of a fun way of saying thank you on the back of the card with my name and my contact number. I love that. I need to, I need to do that soon. So let's, I'll show you. Here's, here's what she's talking about. So when we go to the back of the card, this is my default, but I can go over here to layouts and I can choose. And as you can see, there's lots of different choices that I have for sending um, for the back of the card. And then I can, I can kind of scroll through and see if I find something. And, um, you know, I can just, I can click this one and click save and save and send. Now I could add a gift. So if I go to the gifting catalog, it will take me to, you know, there's all lots of great things. Yeah. Tons of things. I love the card size because sometimes you can just send a little token in the card. Um, the, the brownies are, to, yeah, well, you guys know, you've seen that you've tasted and sampled the brownies, but all kinds of things to choose from. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and 
let's see, cancel that. I'm going to add recipient. So up here, I'm going to type in Amy. There she is. Oh, I know I'm not seeing it because our, our pretty faces are covering the <laughs> Amy Cooper. I just click done. Now there's, there's her information when I click ready to send. And this is the cool part because this is, this is the, an example of a heartfelt single card send. And you notice that when I started, it said $1.75, but when I get to this point, it says total is free. You click send and it says, congratulations, you've just made the world a better place. I love seeing that. So what I'm going to do now is just go over the pricing and options that are available with send out cards. Mm -hmm. Everybody can have a send out cards account, a free account. Mm -hmm. It's called the basic. It's 275. You would pay 275 per card. If you send a group of 20 or more that goes down to 225, it includes the build your own cards. Um, it's a dollar extra. If you add, if you add pictures, and then, of course, postage is 50 cents, which is first class postage. The enhanced is $17 a month. This is for the person who wants to maintain a relationship manager. So you want to just have an ability to, you know, store your address book. You can send cards at a discounted rate. So if you're going to be sending three to five cards a month, this would be a perfect program to be on because it gives you the discount. Um, you get a 15% discount on the gifts, unlimited relationship manager. It includes all card types, the enhanced storage and campaigns. You have the ability to send multiple card campaigns, which we call scheduled sends. The premium package, which is a phenomenal, phenomenal bargain. So the card I just sent to my friend, Amy, I could sit down and send 10 cards a day like that every single day of the month, and it would cost me $97, including postage. Now, if you're quick with math, if I did that three times a day, that's 90 cards a month for $97. If I did it 10 times a day, that's 300 cards a month for $97. Do you think that's a, a, a good benefit if you're just gonna send cards and stay in touch with people? Um, you, there's nothing on the marketplace that can touch that. The $1.75 for a standard card would be for like the group sends and the, the scheduled cards. You get a 30% discount on your gifts um, and it includes all card types and you get loyalty rewards. So 10 cards a month are group sends are um, added to your account. So like when, when I, the pumpkin fest that I showed you, if, if I sent 10 of these, all I would have to pay for is $5 for the postage, 50 cents a card. You can see that I'm on the enterprise plan. It's $147 a month. It gives me the unlimited heartfelt card sends, so that hasn't changed. Um, everything stays the same, but you'll see as, as you work down that list, 100 free cards towards group sends a month. So I'm, I'm a big group sender, right? I send at least, um, at least 110 cards a month with group sends. So I'll be sending out probably 250 of these invitations. Um, and then I would just pay $1.75 for a standard card. Send out cards, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you in on a little secret. Send out cards is coming out with what's called an elite package and an elite plus where you have, you have the ability to purchase cards up front and if you're on the 147 that dollar 75 drops down to 99 cents per card that goes out so that's a really huge huge benefit um, I'm the, uh, just to flip in i'm on the 97 right now but i'm probably going to change to the 147 soon because uh, i'm going to be scheduling christmas cards and i'm going to be uh, doing thanksgiving cards uh, which is going to be a big group send, and that's definitely the better way to go if you're going to do group send. So just just to think about that you can set up your Christmas card, put your message in there, 
and then go to your with we call the relationship marketing or relationship system um, is our CRM in send out cards and you set it up and you don't have to go to the store you don't have to go to the post office <laughs> you know it's done and you have got it off your list and you know that you've taken care of all the people you want to remember so mm -hmm. and also I have the ability to go in and look up birthdays so I mentioned that so I can look up okay who's who's got birthdays between now and the end of the month and I just click submit I have 62 birthdays see how easy that was to pull up the birthdays that um, are in the month of September and now um, let's see we'll, we'll just go back here to groups so that I shared with you um, my pumpkin fest card so I actually have a group called pumpkin fest there's 143 people in here so if I were ready to send that card today, all I have to do is come over here to campaigns. Oh, I've got to move our chat stuff. Okay, I can I can click on campaign. Select all. Go to campaigns. Ooh, keep moving our faces around. And there's the save the date that I sent out, but I can just type in, I can look for pumpkin fest um 2018 i could click submit and look how easy this is you guys ladies guys if you're going to watch on the replay it comes down here i have a, that's how easy it's going to be for me to send 143 cards if i click ready to send there's my card it's going to tell me that I'm using 18 group sends because that's how many I have. That's why I'm not going to send it today. I'm waiting for my rollover when I have 100 free group sends. But really, honestly, to send 143 cards for $290 outside yeah. of this is still a really great option. So, like I said, I'm going to wait till I have that and I'll show you right here in my account. You can see that I have zero group sends remaining this month. And tomorrow is when they'll, where I'll pay my 147 and I'll have 100 groups in. So I'm gonna wait till tomorrow and send those um, invitations out through the group send process of that. So um, do you, do Karen or Connie, do you have any questions at all at this point? As far as um, the, uh, the data that you have in there for the addresses, can you import those from another system or yeah. do you just enter those as you go along? Well, I always entered them as I went along, but see when I, this is, so I have 5,538 contacts in here. If I go over here to add, I can add a new address one at a time. I can also click over here and go to import. And I can, if I have a CSV file, I can drop my file right there and it'll upload right into send out cards. And that, that was my question as well. And then as you go along and have new clients, you know, you just go in and put them in That's right on my checklist uh, when I close, you know, or whatever, and to go in and add them to send out cards right away. But mm -hmm. birthday and house anniversary and you guys would do according to your business, you know, whatever. Right. But, and where, where is this company? Like, who is actually doing the sending? Um, Send Out Cards is located in Salt Lake City, Utah. They've been a member of the Direct Selling Association since 2003, I think, 2003 or four, and founded by Cody Bateman. Um, he just come out with this book. <laughs> yes, yes, his book, The Power of the Human Connection. Our relationship marketing is transforming the way people succeed and it's a phenomenal book I highly recommend on Amazon if you want to buy it. yeah what, what, what is the name of it Sue what is the it human, the power of the human connection mm -hmm. I'll share it with you Karen and okay it's a great book. starting it down Gail's in there a lot <laughs> <laughs> I you know that 
okay, I am in there a lot. I would, every time I turn the page, I go, oh, he mentioned me again. And, and here's why. <laughs> because I have been a student of Cody Bateman since 2007. And I have applied what he has taught me throughout the years that has led my husband and I to have phenomenal results in our, not only in our business, but in our personal life as well. You know, it's been able to send out cards has, has helped us connect with people. And the story that they tell in the book actually came from um, my habit of sending cards. And this is a, this is a picture of the card that I sent to someone I didn't know. They won, they won a cooking contest. And, you know, a week later, I got a call that said, hey, thanks for that card. That was awesome. I see you're a realtor. And uh, my family and I are looking to move to from the east side of the state. So that was in 2011. And in 2012, Kiar bought his home. And for the past six years, we've helped nine other people purchase homes and earned over $70,000 in commission by sending a card to someone we didn't even know. So I like, that's what I teach. Send those heartfelt cards, you know, act on the prompting. If you're thinking of somebody, you know, take a moment, pause in your day, create a card. And with the 97 or the 147, you can do that all day long and, you know, be within your budget. I mean, I'll, people send right a lot here at my computer. <laughs> I don't yeah. have to go to it. <laughs> and, you know, the app on your phone, Send Up Cards app, I, I probably do, um, I would say maybe, it's probably a 65-35 where I'll send 65% of my cards will be sent from my app because I, we always have our phone, right? And so if I'm scrolling Facebook, I can, I can pause and save pictures right on my phone, go to the app, create and send a card, and it's done. You know, you go on a listing appointment. I don't want to wait to come back to my office to send that thank you card to the homeowner that I just visited. So I'll do that. Um, if, if Steve's driving me around and we just leave, I like, I actually literally have that thank you card in the mail before I get back home in front of my computer. So the value of what Send Out Cards has to offer is, is just tremendous. You know, Sue and I are here to help you get started and, um, you know, learn the ropes and, and find your way and, and have it hopefully brings as much value to your lives in business as it has to ours. And, and it is really, um, to me, very gratifying when somebody says, Sue, that, that was so nice of you to send that card, you know, or just, it makes you feel good that you've done something, that you're remembering people, whether they do business or not, you know? Right. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. I know we have a neighbor that I just found out her daughter, I sold her daughter a home years ago and she on Facebook announced the other night that she, I thought maybe she was talking about her grandma uh, with stage four pancreatic cancer. And I was on Facebook, it was kind of late. And I said, Ashley, are you talking about Teresa down the street from me? Cause you know, I thought at first, you know, maybe it was her grandma. She said, no, Sue, I'm sorry, it is my mom down the street from me like oh my god and i immediately sent a card and said i will do anything for you just call me and um i'm sorry i get emotional sometimes but it's things like that that you want to reach out to people because yeah, that's... this world needs kindness in a bad way <laughs> in a good way you know what i mean um, i i agree i agree with that statement there's so much negativity out there yeah. and um you know it's you just got to show that hey take time to be kind say thank you say thinking of you say you know thank you for your business uh, you know just be friends and um that's how i like to do my business and that's why i'm still here i think 30 years is that i don't want to lose that connection you know with right. people um i'd be lost without it i'm a people person you know so I am and, so Sue I am so like you're just sharing that tender moment makes me realize how blessed I am to have you in my life to have someone that's nurturing and caring and loving and kind and you're right we 
we can all go out and change the energy level of this world by just us, you know, one person reaching out in kindness. And you are, you are a living example of what Cody started this company to do. And I just want to thank you. Oh, well, thank you for sticking with me and, and, and helping me along the way. Cause it, it's definitely, I feel like I couldn't have picked a better person to work with to have as a friend and also as a business partner. It's been great. So speaking of business partner, one thing that we didn't share with you is the, uh, the opportunity. So I'm going to see if I can, if you scroll through and you know, there's, there's the essentials pack, you can do your handwriting font. Um, but there's also the ability to um, join as a referral partner with send out cards for $59 a year. So that's what Sue um, has done with, she joined with me, not only as a user sender, you know, using this in her business, but also inviting you ladies on here um, to learn and understand what it's all about. And if you can think of other people that would benefit from this program, we have something called paid for. And that is um, where you can get your system paid for. And basically what it is, is, you know, you find four other people that do what you do. And then your send out cards is paid for. So Sue's on the 97 right now. So if she finds four other people to go on the $97 a month plan, then she's going to make $97 and her system is paid for. So um, send out cards makes it easy for us to use and share. There's all kinds of tutorials for us. Um, the social proof um, presenting basically what we just went through today, just invite people on to learn the three types of card sends um, and then the different options on how to get started and send out cards breaks it all down in the back office for us, um, making it easy. So building it, it gives us the opportunity. This is the paid for. If you um, find one other person or if you find four people to do what you do, your system is paid for. Could you show them how they sign up if they did want to do it right there on, on yeah. their website? So if you, when you go to send out cards, I'm going to log out for a second. And let's just say you clicked on pricing. You go to sendoutcards.com. You click on pricing and you choose your, your plan. So let's just say you're going to choose 97. Or maybe you want the 147 with with it coming up. You can you can make that. You would put your email in. You'd create a username and password, and then you'd select your sponsor. So you can just type in Sue Hutchinson, and we'll make sure there she is. Her picture will come up, and then just click join. That's as easy as it gets. I'll tell you too, one uh, part that we hadn't really touched on just real quick is our family and my grandchildren love getting their cards oh. and my, I don't have the card, um, but I have a picture of them. I'll show you, but I sent like my grandson a picture. He's on a soccer team and they won a tournament and I put his picture and his coach with his coach. They had a picture and sent that and congratulated him. And I sent the brownies with it. And his mom was kind of, I didn't even ask. She took a picture of him with these and it just beaming from, you know, ear to ear. And, um, and then my granddaughter, I sent her a flat card, which is a really neat picture card. You can write on the back of it. And I don't have hers available to show you, but they can frame it. And it was one, they went to Disney World for the first time. Yeah, it's just front and back. And a um, really cute picture of her with Goofy. And I made that the flat card picture. And then I wrote something fun on the back of it. And you can, you can use your own handwriting or they've got all kinds of fonts. And some of them are really fun because you could make them, you know, squirrely and stuff. And the kids kind of like that. And, um, and I sent the brownies with that. And she didn't know she was getting it. So that's the other neat thing is, you know, they, they get this surprise box in the mail and they don't know what it is, you know. So, so you can have so fun the with box, it. So the gift and the card go together? 
Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. It comes like this. There's a really nice envelope. I don't think you can see it's delayed a little bit. When I sent this card recently, you know, for the closing, it comes in this real nice uh, envelope. That's kind of a see-through envelope. Mm -hmm. And it's on the top of the box. Of How cute. Brownies. And um, it's packaged very nicely. Um, very so this, this is an example of, of how a box would come with the brownies. And see, you'd be proud of me because I re this box has been on my desk I have one. for a while. I got the card in the vellum envelope, and I still have the brownies. Oh, <laughs> aren't, aren't I good? They're good. <laughs> <laughs> but she's on a special program that I don't know. Wait, so she's, she's really exercising her self-control there. <laughs> I was so excited when I got mine from Sue. Of course, I didn't know what it was, and I, I'm not used to getting anything. And I opened that up with the card, and that card is at home on my, not on, I don't have a mantle, so it's on my counter. Mm -hmm. And I, I just love that I got that. And I thought, wow, it just made me feel good. And the brownie was very good that day for lunch. Yeah. I got to get Karen her brownies. She's hearing about these brownies. Karen. <laughs> oh, that's, that's okay. That's okay. I'm, 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 I was good with what I got. I was thrilled. <laughs> but you know, no, this, is, this is great. I don't really have any other questions. So basically, you know, we can just go on the website and kind of peruse the website and decide what we want to do, right? That's correct. Yes. Okay. On and the gifts I, that you can choose to send, um, I noticed there was a coffee mug. Um, can you personalize that stuff or not? Not right now, but that might be something that is down the road. Mm -hmm. it, but that is that would be a great idea. Right now, they're just what they have in stock and what they say. Well, it's a lot of cute things. Yeah. Oh, there are. Uh, two of my customers just recently had babies, and they have this cute little giraffe in blue and in pink. And I sent that out with a picture from Facebook that I saw their, you know, baby picture, and um, and sent that out as a gift. Um, but yeah, they've got really, and they're very reasonably priced. And like the different programs, you do get a discount on them. But there again, it's one-stop shopping. You don't have to get out of your computer chair or your right, yes. on your phone. You know. Yeah. Right. Well, ladies, thank you for um, taking time out of your day to join Sue and I on this yes, thank um, you Zoom much. webinar. Um, get back to Sue, and and she can help you get started. And if you need help from me as well, we can maybe schedule another call to. Um, get you onboarded and, and answer your questions. But for now, um, I don't want to keep you. I just want you to know that it's been a pleasure for me to, to share today with you and um, look forward to helping you change um, the lives for the people that you're going to send your cards to. Sounds good. Thanks. Thank you, Gail. Yeah. Nice talking to you. Thanks, Sue. Yes, thank you, Karen and Connie, for showing up. And we'll have a replay, too. So yeah, Sounds um, good. Awesome. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.